first high school varsity basketball games tipped off today at the inaugural President's Bowl Basketball Classic. The first of its kind sporting event is drawing basketball fans of all ages and team loyalties to the Sanford Pentagon. Kelloland's Perry Groton spoke with some of them about being a part of Hoops history in Sioux Falls. Lincoln fans Don and Brenda Robertson showed up plenty early to the Pentagon's Heritage Court to get good seats to watch their daughter play in the first game of the President's Bowl. We have a daughter who um, is a freshman and is playing on the varsity level this year, so she's new to all of this, so it's very, very exciting for her. So yeah, we're excited to watch her. This is basketball's time to shine during the President's Bowl, which for years had been the sole domain of local high school football. We had a son that played football, so I've always thought that having basketball would be kind of a natural thing to do as well. It's fun to uh, give them that opportunity to play in a venue that professional basketball teams play in, high-level college programs, things like that. So um, it's been fun, and we're really looking forward to these games. Coaches taking part in the basketball classic see these back-to-back -back games as a kind of a mid-season tune-up to the state tournament. We're coming off of five days of, of a Christmas break, and then we had two days to prepare for, for two games in 48 hours. And so we kind of look at this as like a, a preparation for a state tournament. This is kind of like a state tournament feel for us playing back-to-back -back games. The historical significance of these games isn't lost on anyone, regardless of the final score. You know, just something different, um, but something exciting for these kids to look forward to and, and to, be able, to be able to remember this for a, for a long time. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Gelloland News. And there's one more game being played this evening. The Washington and Jefferson boys tip off at 6 p.m. All four schools will be in action again for the final day of the Classic tomorrow at the Pentagon.